Can I go through the right one? Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Salmon and today I'm doing another mock test, this time with Kashid. Now, Kashid, tell me about your experience. What sort of um, driving experience have you had so far? Um, I've had four hours of manual. Mm -hmm. Driving lessons, Driving yeah. lessons, yeah, on the road and privately just on automatic in private road, that's it. And that's with family? Yeah, it's family, yeah. Okay. All right, so you have got a test booked and it's in a few months. Yeah. And this is your first official sort of mock test to get an idea on how yeah. you're doing yeah. and improve on anything. Okay, so you know what to expect in today's drive? Somewhat, yeah. Yeah, do you want me to tell you? I mean, yeah, if you could go through it, yeah, yeah, so throughout the drive, you're following the road ahead, okay? Whenever I need you to turn, I will tell you. If I don't say anything, keep going straight. If you're not sure, you can just ask. Yeah. But you're just expected to kind of follow the road really okay, okay. a bit of independent driving we're going to do one maneuver and we may also carry out the emergency stop similar to everything you've kind of um hopefully been practicing yep. okay now before we get started i am going to ask you a question about your vehicle could you tell me how would you check that your indicators are working and you don't need to exit the vehicle for this okay um check do it no like, you just tell oh, okay, me turn on the ignition yeah and then Get someone from behind when you press the indicator with the hazard button. Okay. Or you try to get a reflection from the mirror and then you can see it. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so for anyone that's new to watching the channel, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and thank you for subscribing. Now, Kashid, whenever you're ready, I'm ready for you to get started, so good luck. And we're just going to go up to the end of this road, make a right turn, please. And then let's make a left turn at that roundabout. Hi guys, welcome back to another mock test. If you enjoy watching this content, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new. Today's mock test is with Kashid, who actually hasn't had a lot of driving lessons and has done most of his practice with family. And he wanted to do a mock test to see how he would get on in test conditions. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Can I go through the right hole? So we have a width restriction ahead of us. The key with dealing with width restrictions is to position nice and early and keep the wheel nice and straight. You can watch the mirror on your right hand side to make sure that you're not too close, but try and avoid any sudden movements. And no, because she would not be allowed to go across from the right hand side of the road. Thank you. Drive up whenever you're ready. 
Kushid has parked in a safe place at this point, although it looks like it's a driveway as this vehicle is coming off of the pavement, but as it's a raised curb, this would not be marked down as a fault because we have parked where the pavement was raised. So this would be allowed in a driving test. I'd like you to take the next road on your right. It's just coming up there with a white building in the side. road time right please Now when turning right at traffic lights you have to wait for oncoming traffic and usually in the junction there's space for about two cars. There's already two cars ahead of us that are waiting in the junction so we should have in fact waited behind the stop line. Now had the traffic lights changed at this point we would have been in a very sticky situation so always make sure there's space for you in the junction or wait behind the stop line. We're going to start the independent driving from here. I'm going to give you a series of directions to follow from now. So when we get to the end of this road, there's going to be a roundabout. I'd like you to turn right. And at the next roundabout, I'd like you to turn left. Sheed's overall driving is actually really smooth considering he hasn't had a lot of practice but he does have a little bit of a tendency to signal a little late. You want to make sure you're signaling at least six to eight car lengths and also make sure there are no junctions before the one you're turning into. So here he's not signaling right at this point but as we're waiting he realizes this and switches his signal on. But you want to make sure your signal is on leading up to the junction. Thank you. 
So as we turn into this new road, it is a dual carriageway with two lanes and we happened to do a sharp turn and ended up in the overtaking lane. Now, if you ever find yourself in this position, focus on getting up to the speed and then move back into the left. As soon as Kashid realized, he tried to switch back straight away instead of focusing on speeding up. And then he realized the van in front of us was now actually driving too slow and he ends up getting too close to them. So being in the overtaking lane is not actually a fault. It's only if you're slow in the overtaking lane or you're driving in the overtaking lane unnecessarily. So as soon as we moved back into the left, Kashid was trying to get up to 50 and then realized the van is now actually driving too slow. So he had to increase the distance in front and drop his speed. This roundabout Kashid forgets the signal completely for this right turn and gets a serious fault. This could have been really dangerous had there been a vehicle ahead of us. In this case, we got lucky as nobody was in front of us, but you need to make sure you're signaling right as soon as your exit is after that 12 o'clock position to make it clear to the drivers ahead of you. to do so I'd like you to demonstrate how you would open the window. Thank you, you can close it. Now we're currently driving in a 20 miles per hour zone and the road ahead is fairly narrow. We are driving in third gear so the car did feel quite fast so it's a good idea to switch down to second gear for better control.
sides very close together. At the first one we're going to turn left, at the second one we're going to turn right. Approaching this traffic light to make the left turn, again because she does not signal so he does get marked down for this. The lane is a left only lane but your signal can help pedestrians or other vehicles around you so always signal whenever you're turning, even if it's a compulsory turn. Ahead of us we've got a bridge with a height restriction and large vehicles will be in the middle of the road so you want to be cautious on approach to this as you may need to stop. So we are currently driving on a 40 miles per hour road but as you can see with the road condition it's not necessarily safe to drive up to that speed and the vehicle in front of us was driving too slow so we did end up catching up with them. When this happens make sure to maintain a good following distance no matter what's happening ahead and also bear in mind that there is no pavement so pedestrians may be walking in the road. As we're getting to the end of the road, you can see we're now approaching a 40 miles per hour zone. Kashi did miss this sign as he didn't realise it's 40 and in the new road he continued driving at 30. At this junction to make this right turn, Kashi did take a bit of a risky gap because he couldn't quite see the left hand side and the fact that he thought this is a 30 miles per hour road, we did end up slowing down the vehicle approaching from the left. So you want to make sure you look carefully and you don't slow down any of the traffic that's on the main road. They shouldn't have to step off the accelerator or have to brake for you. We've got a large vehicle approaching towards us on the opposite side of the road. Because she does step off the accelerator and move towards the left, but it would have been a good idea to definitely brake at this point due to the size of the vehicle and the speed at which they're approaching.
At this roundabout we can see everyone's turned up together so it's really important not just to watch the traffic directly to your right but also watch the traffic ahead of you and towards the left and watch for that domino effect to see how the traffic on the left is affecting the traffic on the right and see if you can time a gap accordingly. Alright, so what we're going to do now, using the vehicle ahead, I'd like you to demonstrate how you would carry out the parallel park exercise. So start alongside the vehicle in the road, then reverse back and finish within two car lengths. And in terms of the driveway, just think of that as a raised curb, okay. so don't go on top of that bit, okay? That's Before starting any reversing exercise, be sure to look all around, including over your right and left blind spot. Especially when it comes to the parallel park exercise, when you steer left, the front of your car swings into the road. Now this did get marked down as a serious fault. As Kashid gets close to the pavement, he decided to go forward to readjust and again did not check towards the road. And the learner car that was waiting behind us decided to go around us at this point. So again, he would have got a serious fault at this point for observation as he did not make sure the road was clear before going forward. That's fine there, thank you. Secure the car. And switch off the engine. All right, so that is the end of your driving test. How would you say you've done? I think I failed because I saw some issues on the road, but I think I did decent compared to how many experience I have. Yeah. You, not a lot of experience at yeah. all. Um, in terms of the drive, fairly decent drive. There's a few bits that you could address. Mm. Um, so unfortunately it wouldn't be a pass. Up until this maneuver, it was mm. very nice. Okay. This maneuver here, mm. you would have got a serious fault with your observation. Okay. Because you're not checking your blind spots. Like right at the beginning, mm. you, you're in the road, you've put it in reverse, you've looked behind here, you start reversing, no check over to the right, and we're swinging into the road. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. And even back here when you decided to go forward, that learner was now coming past you mm. and your front tire is into like facing the road yeah. and you've just kind of moved forward. And I know they're not that close, yeah. but just a bit more consideration with your surroundings there. Besides that, there was one fault before this, which mm. would have been your serious. So this was a major here with the yeah. maneuver. But before this, there was one other fault, which it, I was a bit umming and ahhing because it's a fault, but you were lucky because there was nobody around you at the time. Okay. So signal timing is a bit of an issue. There are a few times where your signal would come on when you're waiting or okay. you're kind of just about to turn and you put it on. You remember that big roundabout where we did the fourth exit, right turn? Yeah. You had no right signal. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember that, yeah. So at the very start of that roundabout, there is no right signal. You've gone round the roundabout. As you're about to come off, you've switched your signal hmm. to left. But if there was traffic in front of us, how do they know we we're even going that way? Oh, okay. Yeah, so that was the only major fault before this. That's not okay. Yeah? yeah. So overall, nice drive. Um, there were a few bits I want to talk about. So you know when we were going through like that Colnbrook um, High Street? The old one. The, yeah, the yeah, old, yeah. like really tight little high street. Yeah, yeah. You kept it in third the whole time, hmm. which, you know, it's okay, but it just felt like the car was pushing to go faster and you were trying to slow down. You'd put the brake and the clutch down, but then you'd bring it up in third again. And that happened like three or four times, maybe. Okay. It just felt like we could have controlled that speed a bit better. Okay. 
Because so, like you said, it's quite a tight... So I should put it in second? Would have been better okay. in second, because it was a 20 miles per hour zone anyways. That's fine. Yeah? Um, traffic lights, all of that. It was just signal timing. That was the only thing that kind of kept reoccurring, but it was never that bad until we got to that roundabout where it okay. was just not on. That's fine, okay. Yeah, was there anything else that you maybe were considering besides what I I've thought, mentioned? I thought, you know, when we got off um, near Quickfit, the right turn we did. Yeah. And there was a car on the left. Mm -hmm. I think he was speeding and I quickly took a turn. I yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. We, we shouldn't have come out there. Yeah. Uh, because that is a 40 miles per hour yeah. road. And um, yeah, when you came out of that junction, yeah, we. Yeah, I thought, I thought I was, that was like a mistake I did. It wasn't a major, but it was definitely a fault. Okay, um, yeah. Did you know that we were, we were moving on to a 40 miles per hour road? No, I didn't know. That. That's another thing. So when you moved on, you went mm. 30, and then when you saw the sign, 40, that's when you yeah, sped up. That's when, yeah. So now, yeah, we did, we did cause them to slow down a little bit. It wasn't drastic but yeah don't take it okay um there were two there were on two separate occasions where we had like the drivers in front of us driving too slow hmm. and you kind of found yourself following a bit too close okay. uh, one was that van yeah. when we were on uh, bath road yeah, yeah and then was that black mercedes yeah, yeah. yeah both times if someone's driving a bit slow just back off yeah. um but yeah with the van we could have overtaken because he was hmm. just doing 30 on a 50 wasn't he yeah so yeah at that point i would have just gone round. Oh, right, okay yeah that's fine because I know when we turned onto that road, you got into the overtaking lane and mm. immediately you were like, oh, let me move back. Because I've seen like previous videos where you're like, on the overtaking lane, you shouldn't be in that one. That's but you know what fault. it is? Being in the overtaking lane is not a fail. Okay. Being in the overtaking lane and now being slow hmm. okay, is an issue. Okay. So when we turned onto that road, the van started to go past you. If you had just focused on just getting to 50, hmm. you would have gone past that van because he yeah. stayed at 30, didn't he? Yeah. And then moved back later. Yeah? That's fine, yeah. But yeah, not bad for a first attempt at all, okay? Yes, that's fine. Alright guys, that is the end of today's mock test. Hopefully you guys have um, learned something along the way. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. And that is it from us today. Thank you for watching.